Pinot Black and we'll basically have some fresher too, but basically as you can see the magnetical here on that date, which is fresh, is the 9th, but the, it, and as you can see my date and time is always down here, right there, and then now what we're going to do is we're just going to go up this and just show you that there's a magnetical there, and then I'm going to take you to Alaska fresh shot, and as you can see that planet right there, let me come down a little bit, and you can see that planet there low, right, on Alaska. And basically this is behind, I'll take you up, I think, and be able to show you that. Stereo. Behind. H12, okay. Pretty much proved to you right here that there's more than one sun, okay. And no matter what, if it's Alaraf behind or any of the other super giants, it doesn't really matter. And then they're huge and they're way, way back. But you can see here that it's just not a halo that we get. If we have this sun here and it's shaded by the, the shade, as you'll see the shade arms we come down, and this is fresh from Navy. I want to thank them. And basically we'll come down, and you can see the Van Allen belts. You'll see all kinds of magnetical, okay? You can actually see on the sun, on the suns, and you see you can see that there's more than one, as you can see, but they lock together each other here on these Van Allen belts here, as you see. I can point with this and make the point clearly. As you can see Van Allen belts, electrical there around that sun, huge in the background, and then you can see this here, and then it's like a honeycomb, like a beehive, it's connected, okay, electrical energy, and you can also see an electrical Van Allen belt area here, and as we come down, we will see the path of light curvature. Now this is the arm that, that blacks out the very bright spot on the sun, which basically may possibly, we finally may see our third sun, because basically that might be the brightest and it basically has to be blocked by this, as you can see that black area there. And then we know that they blacken out this a little bit, but this one here is dull enough that you can see the magnetical lines and then we get layers and layers and layers but you can see the Van Allen belts okay and as you see we get light curvature that's brighter behind this object there so these are objects in space no matter what but this is the Sun we're looking at ladies and gentlemen so when we get different shots of the Sun we're pretty much looking at this right here okay and then there are remnants here that I've showed you, and we got it blown up enough here to be able to see this and so that I can point to it. And there's still massive distances between, it would be interesting to know how far that this stuff here, these remnants that don't burn up, which are huge, these, these things are huger than Jupiter and stuff like that that are there by the sun. Okay, and then as we come down, we're going to kind of see that basically you can see a dark planet there. And I've got a picture I can show you of what I've blown up on. I think I blew up the, I'm pretty sure, uh, actually I did. I blew this one here up. I can show you a shot of. And then come down and see this here also. So you can see that, that basically that magnetical and that stuff that we're seeing low on the sun, it's got magnetos because there's way more than just our planets that we see that have a luminosity to them. They have atmospheres that end up, but when they're dark planets, they don't have much of an atmosphere or they're cooling small little stars that are dying out and smoldering or whatever, and they basically have black energy still. They might actually be putting off some kind of energy or be an electrical magnet, you know, because they're around by the sun, which there's hella distances. You see, some of this stuff can be, but most of these dark ones are closer to us Earth at the present time as us going around and spiraling around the Sun. These remnants are out there and they're huge. Okay, there and there. Now if I don't get time on this right now, basically I just want to get you through this picture because basically you can see all the Van Allen belts. You see all of it there. And you, this stuff is vast quantum leaps out there on some of those stars, the bright whiteness. But the darkness that you see, those are dark stars, dark planets, dark gaseous. Now remember, when I show you this blown up here, you got to remember, there's an actual scientific fact. They've got it down to 2.5, the gas around a planet like that, or a star. So even if there's a star in there, around that gaseous area, you can uh, figure that the gaseous area, the outside of this here, as you see the sunlight pop in, you know that's sunlight. When I show you sunlight, 
you see how your computer reacts that bam that's sunlight okay that's a flashlight okay and then that's light curvature around the sun and then also you get the Van Allen belts there and then the Van Allen belts out there so see you see the poles of the sun then it's basically got four but it's actually got pow it's got electrical forces that go out on each side it's got top sides it's fusion the suns are fusion and basically you're seeing the suns because more than likely there is a smaller sun right here so you're seeing one two and three so all that activity we've been seeing is actual factual and then you're seeing all these Van Allen belts that get poured off of the sun as we come over here to the light curvature on this side of the sun and this is what feeds earth its light okay this deflection and reflection as you see those Van Allen belts it's black and white but you see all this stuff okay and I'm going to come back down real fast after I showed you. See, that's all the Van Allen, Allen, Allen belts. You can see it, Van Allen belts. So that's what the electrical magneticals. So as this sun, the light, the light of the sun, the curvature of the sun, as it pours off, you see it pour down here. And you should be able to see the signature of it starting right here. And it's somewhat in the arm of the deal that's shown. But also see it pour out before the arm because there's the light pours down then the magneticals here and then you can see the magnetical of the spiral that this basically I call it the umbilical cord of the spiral of the magnetic that comes off the Sun you see and then it's totally a corkscrew all around and we get drug every planet gets drug around through these magneticals, these Allen belt magneticals. And now I'll take right and you'll see how the Van Allen belts go off into space. And this is what those Voyager and Pioneer and Voyager 1 and 2 are discovering that it's just huge. It's just a big swirl out there. So, and all the sons of the supergiants basically are that big swirl that keeps everything together in the Milky Way galaxy. And then here, as you see, it swirls around. And then that's why when you see that energy swirl that we get that travels out towards Earth, it's in that magnetical that you see when you watch the CMEs come off. And when you say, well, there's not a CME popping off the sun, but we have this colorization of magnetical. That's these Van Allen belts that basically swirl around. And then you see this swirl that's got these planets that are in front of the sun. Check, that's the sun. That has these planets connected to the sun. It's magnetical in its spiral. It's the same thing that Earth is stuck to, okay? And Earth is over here to the left, and I'm not gonna. It's not in the. It basically is somewhere in this shot, okay? And the sun is tied into this big swirl out there of electrical energy. You see all these Van Allen belts, okay? We're somewhere in this light beam, and then right now, well, it's nighttime as I'm recording this, so that basically our we're on the other side in the darkness of space, but we are in that path of light right there to the left-hand side of that. And this is on a head, okay? So this is off of a head. So it's up to the right. The camera's up to the right. So see, this is the sun to us towards the left. And they black this out because they probably don't want you freaking out about what I'm going to take you back to that video real fast. And we'll play all that latest information through his video into this one here. So there you go. And then that's basically the arm. This is the arm. And then there you can see that the Van Allen belts or in the aperture of the camera, it does what it does. Okay. So, and it was resumed in our sun, our suns, its reflection and its light curvature. So the sun has way more than one component. And we keep an eye on that sun there. This here, big bugger here. There's also possibly a third one underneath that disc. But it doesn't really matter. No matter what you see too, that you see. And that's why you see that crown all the time. Okay. They're just never going to really admit to the idea that there's way more to the sun than just the sun. Okay, it's fusion, it's electrical energy, it's a nuclear reactor out there. Okay, so then there's Earth and everything should pour them more than likely be over here. And they're probably trying to hide a little bit of what the action that's going on. And you see the light pours out towards Earth. And Earth's either up here or down here in that beam there. Okay, and that's the shot we were looking at. We were zoomed in on all this stuff. And yep, these triangulations there are stars way the hell out in space. Okay. Even up here and this stuff here and everything like that. And these dark planets were down here. Those planets were over there that I showed you. And let me see if I got the shot. 
And you can see, I don't know if you can see the Van Allen belts here, but when I zoom in, you'll see that object, and basically it is a dark star or gaseous object that's up there between us and the sun, but it's way, this is way over on the right-hand side on a head. So you got to remember, that this stuff's all to the right of Earth. When you're standing on the Earth, on the east side of the Earth, in the facing east towards the sun, this stuff is all way ha right-hand side up by A. And then basically I'll get over here, and then we should be able to keep zooming in on this. I got it up to like 800 on this paint thing. I'll slide across, and you got to remember the figure of 2.5. That's a gaseous state, no matter what that's around it. It's dark black matter, and he says you can see it more than likely as a planet or a star. And make up your mind, it's going to end up being a planet, or maybe it is planet or hydrogen. It's got gas around it. So the core of that. Oh, sorry, I was trying. I was trying to slide the zoom, and if I slide the zoom, I think I'll just keep going in on it. No, nope, there, and I'll come across. Just doing this live so you know that this is what we're zooming in on. And now I'll zoom in more. I think I'll get to 800. And then you figure that you do your dividing of 2.5. And that will give you the size of what that object would be. And that's the one that I was showing you. That I This is the one that I zoomed in the picture on. And as you can see there... That's a star or a planet, dwarf, and that's bigger than Jupiter, more than likely, easy, very easily, or if anything, easily the same. So I'd say it's easily way the hell bigger than Jupiter. So that was, that was basically this object here. Let me pump it up real fast. Boom. That was that object right there. Okay, and that's when I was zooming in when I was showing you the Van Allen belts and stuff like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at. And everything I was telling you about nuclear, and then see, they got problems under the ground because they know they got fissures like crazy, and they got uh, all their nuclear plants are going to ground because basically the, everything that's got messed up in the quake is basically fissuring through the earth and it's finding veins. So, active fault and everything like that. Their veins and, the, and those nuclear reactors are going to ground. So, this here object is by the sun, okay? And I agree with this, and basically, Taurus is just a planetary that that uh, remnant that basically orbits around the same platitude that Earth does towards the sun to the sun, and it's behind us, and it's five kilometers big. And basically, there's pictures of that. You can go to spaceweather.com and get that, and I'll show that in the future videos. Let's. I'm going to start this, and we'll see the information. And you're going to see it matches up with what I was showing you off Sechi, because you're going to see the action from. The sun's going to be to the left. Or actually, the sun's on the right. Okay, on this shot. And there you go. Quasar. Now that's that. This is from H ahead of H12, but see, that's what was... And they'll change the shot in a minute, and they'll have it on the other side. But the, there is something huge up there that did that CME, like I said up there. Now, H1, high H1... That was supposed to be, that should be Mercury. Okay, and then there should be Mercury and Venus like I was showing you before. And then you're going to see this from this side. And I had already showed you this in uh, the Sechi that I had pulled up from the 7th. And I think this will come through the 9th, and you'll see this action. Yep, to the 9th. So you see, this thing ain't quitting, whatever that is over there to the right, but it's CME. So we got way more, and like I said, to the angles of Earth and so forth. And... I really doubt that that's our atmosphere doing that, Earth's atmosphere, but you know the shots that we're getting this from and everything like that. So, and then you see all these magneticals, and this is where I got to freeze, and we got to start finding these objects. This is what's great is the idea that they were watching this comet, and I'm going to hit play now, but we're going to find all these. We're going to be able to get all this footage because they turned around. The sun's right here. You see, they had to turn around and look at all this stuff, okay? Now, we do know that there's really, th this is basically more than likely Earth. Uh, Jupiter, and then whatever else of our planets and everything, but two, four, five, six, seven, as we get these angles here. And this does not have Mars because Mars is over here behind the sun, okay? Mars is not in this shot, okay? So it's starting to add up, folks, because as also, as you can see, what the heck is this down here? You see what I'm saying? And you don't see the magnetical on it. So it might not be magnetically attached to the sun, 
but then again it could because it's through all the, it's this is all high definition and let's play this see if we get the comment and see how much more we can get in this video